I want my kids to still, uh, you know, have a friends that makes sense. And I had the feeling that for the first time, France could honestly disappear. In my opinion, if Marine Le Pen had been elected, France, as we know it, would have disappeared and changed completely. All eyes on France today as the country votes in a new president. Emmanuel Macron's win over far-right candidate Marine Le Pen. Maybe the end of a tumultuous election, but expats living right here in Toronto say there's still many unknowns in the country's future. Je veux vous dire merci. Emmanuel Macron thanks supporters for making him France's youngest president at just 39 years old. The preliminary results show he garnered 63 percent of the votes, while his rival Marine Le Pen received 36 percent. Celebrations broke out across the country's capital, including at the iconic Champs Elysees. Oh, I'm so pleased he saved Europe. I think it's amazing. And right here in Toronto, supporters who gathered inside the Madison Avenue pub say they were relieved that the pro EU centrist who shook up the elections this year walked away with the victory. There was still a, a bit of a threat. Um, and uh, we felt that again it was uh, two different visions of what we wanted for our country, what we wanted for Canada, for the EU. Over 4,000 ballots were cast at the two polls here in Toronto. That also includes the votes of French expats living in Manitoba. There were 4,018 votes. Nearly 92 percent of those, or 3,686 votes, were in favor of Macron, while Le Pen walked away with 332, or a little over 8 percent, of support from the expats. We are sure now that the Front National won't have the majority, but there is a big question for the future. But amongst all the celebration Macron's supporters are doing today, many say they're concerned with how many votes Le Pen received during this election. Vive la République, vive la France. Although she conceded defeat to Macron, the far-right nationalist brought in more votes for Le Front National during this election. It's still a huge result never seen again in France. And it's a big danger for France to fight next year because from the, their base, they can only grow it. Instead, the French expats living in Canada are calling for increased unity for politicians in France to support Macron. French people should realize that it's up to them uh, to succeed or to fail. The French consulate here in Toronto is expected to have the final results on their website by tomorrow. Near Spadina and Bloor, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.